Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be covering case number 31 from the Speed Solving Wiki. And this case is super easy to recognize. It's just when the pair is already paired up, but it's flipped upside down into a, any slot. And for this case, we're not going to be concerned with if the case is oriented or not. We're really going to look at if the pair is in the front, we're going to perform a certain set of moves. And if it's in the back, we're going to do a different set of moves. So it's really dependent upon where your pair is and where it should go. So we will cover both the front version of this and the rear version of this. Let's get started. So for the front version, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the pair and then we're also going to find the slot that it's supposed to go in and we're going to do a certain set of moves based on where this pair is supposed to go. So if it goes here, we'll do something different than if it goes here. So we will go over every case when this goes in the front right, the front left, the back left, and the back right. When it goes into the front right slot and it's sitting in the front right slot, we can do a couple different things. The first thing you can do is if you put your corner piece behind your edge piece and then perform a sledgehammer, what this will do is it will pair the piece up and then you can do an easy insertion. So again, we will put the piece here, the corner piece here, we'll sledgehammer, and then you can perform an easy insertion. Pretty easy way to do it. The other way you can do it is if you pull the pair out by lifting your slot up. When you fix your cross, you can U2 and then head slammer. Pretty self-explanatory. And the other way you can do it is you, if you like or are comfortable doing front moves, you can re-grip, front move with your thumb, push it out of the way, fix your cross, and then pull it back. Then it's just an easy insert in. So for that one again, regrip, we'll thumb, push, down, then easy insert back in. So that's if it is sitting in the same slot. So if it's in the front right and it goes in the front right slot. If it goes in the front left slot, this one's really easy. What we're going to do is we're just going to regrip. We're going to perform a F2 move. We're going to move our cross into the top layer. So we flipped our cross piece upside down. So we'll just move this into the top layer, perform a U2, and then fix our cross. And what that did was that took that pair and placed it into this slot instead of this slot. So again, and it's only four moves. It's, it's really, really fast to do. So if you see this and this is your pair that it goes in, you F2 to place the pair into the slot where it's supposed to go. And then you move your this face, you move it into the top layer, U2, and then down, and that'll, that'll fix your slot. If it goes back here, so if this is a slot that we care about, what we're going to do is we're going to lift the slot up by using an R move. We're going to move it in this position, and then we're going to perform this insert just like we normally would. So again, what we'll do is we'll lift this slot up, we'll move it over, and then we'll pull with our finger here. We'll move this out of the way, fix our cross, and what that does is that lines up our middle slice. <clears throat> and then with the middle finger, we'll push back. And, then we'll... and basically all that's doing is doing this insert. So when you have the pair back here and you would do this insert on it, we're just setting that case up. So if it's here, we will move our slot up, put it in this back position, and then we'll just perform this insertion. And what that does is that also fix the cross in the process. So if it goes in the back right slot, what we're going to do is we're going to lift the slot up, move the pair out of the way, and then fix your cross. And then you can tell it's an easy insertion, so we can just flip it in. So when you're doing that one, it's And then you would just push it in with this finger, and then you can fix, and it that will fix your cross. So, to review the front ones again, if it goes in the front slot, we can put this back here, sledgehammer, insert. We can pop it out, U2, head slammer. We can regrip, push it out like that, and then insert. And the one I use most of the time is this, just because it's easy for me to remember. But use whichever one you like. For if it goes in the front left slot, we will regrip, F2, 
move your cross into the top layer, F2, fix your cross, and then I'll insert it. If it goes back here, we will move this up into the top layer, move it over, and then just perform this back insert. And that'll insert the pair. And then if it goes back here, this is an easy one, it's just move it over, and then R2, and then you can tell you can just push it in with your finger, and then back down. So that's if it is in the front slot. In the left version, you just transpose all those to the left. If your pair is in the back, we're basically going to do the same things, but there's a couple minor different things that you can do. So if it goes in the back and your slot is in the back as well, what we're going to do is we're going to regrip and put your finger on the bottom of this, like on the bottom side. We're going to perform one R prime move, move it out of the way, another R prime move, and you can tell now we're our cross is upside down. So if we pull with our first finger here, it will make our our block. So we just have to fix it. So one more R move, we have to fix our cross, our thumbs right there, and then insert it. So again, we will regrip, put our thumb on the bottom of this, and that inserts the pair in the back. If it goes here, what we're gonna do is so that's that's pretty kind of self-explanatory. We're we're basically doing the back version of the other one, so we will pull it up, we'll push it out of the way, and then we will move your right side twice so you can back the put it right in the slot. So if your slot that it goes in is in the front left, what we're gonna do is we're going to pull it out, push it into this position, and then basically just do a head slammer. And then after you do that you have to fix your cross because your cross is still messed up. So pretty self explanatory on that one. So again, if it's if it's going here, we will To solve that case. And if it goes here, there's a couple different things you can do, but normally I would kick it out and push it with my finger, U2, and then push it with this middle finger here. So again, that's a push, fix your cross, U2, pull up, because here's the slot that it goes in, and then push it with your finger, or middle finger, and then lower your slot. So those are, I think those are all the alternatives when it's sitting in the back position. Yeah, so if it, in summary, if it goes in this slot, what you'll do is you'll rig up to, to solve. If it goes here, basically you're just pushing, R2, pulling, and then in. If it's here, you're pushing, and then you're right here, so just do a head slammer, and then fix your cross. So if it's back here, then what we'll do is we will push this up, push it out, U2, and then you're, after your U2, your fingers are right here, so you can just push it in like that. So I think that's it for this case. The next case we're going to do is case 32 from the Speed Solving Wiki, and this one's really easy. But there are some variations on how to do this, and really it's important to understand what you're doing to the pieces if you want to make an easy pay, easy case or a pair for a regular pair insertion, because it might not always go in the same slot. So we will get to that in the next video. If you have any questions or comments on case 31, which we just went over, leave them in the comment section below. And until the next video, happy cubing!